Hey, it's Inspiring Brilliant, guys, and today is November 30th at 8.04 p.m., and we're going to go ahead and get a review going for you guys of the Eye Appeal, as you guys can see. The Eye Appeal skins, again, thank you to Eye Appeal for sh sending this product out to me for review, and we're going to go ahead and get into this, guys. Alright, this skin is different from any other skin I've had in my hands before. It's completely different from anything. The usual thing was just the backing of the iPod. That skin was pretty much all I had before. Or the clear full body. And this one completely wraps the whole thing. As you guys can see, there's only the bottom showing and the top showing. No sides showing. A little bit by the, by the volume rocker and the home button. Now, I do have another skin I made for my high school. You know, I had my football team one away from state so I decided they're one away from winning state so if they win the next game they'll win they'll go to state and do all that so I went ahead and made a skin so I could if we win the next game we'll go ahead and throw that on there and support them but anyway these skins are very easy to apply there are instructions on the back I'm not gonna go ahead and do this it does tell you what to do and it comes with instructions as well so one solid skin pretty much what you do is go back here and there's flaps that you open up it says fold there's another one there fold another one there another one there and another one there you fold all those up and you pretty much flip your iPod over set it on there this piece will this piece of of um paper right here will peel up as you guys can see there's the skin underneath there it will peel up and you can put your iPod on there you peel the rest of it away and pretty much wrap it around so it's quite easy it does come with a button cover, but I peeled that off because I like touching my button. It's a lot better for me. And it does have the light sensor covered, which I didn't take that off. I left it on. So, very easy to apply, great instructions, great product as far as quality. Now, since I didn't really use an inkjet or let mine dry the first time, it didn't come out that well, but this one came out really well. I let this one dry, hit it with a fan, it's perfectly fine, won't rub, and I still dry it from time to time just to make sure that it's perfectly dry. This one came off a little bit. I don't know if they'll all do that. I doubt they'll all do that. And I'm not sure if my printer's in inkjet or not completely, so I don't know. <laughs> to be honest, I don't know if my printer's in inkjet. Usually check your instructions from your printer the disk, search the, apps, the the website of the manufacturer of your printer and search the the um, product number and that'll usually be able to tell you if it's an inkjet or whatever it is. So, because they do say to use an inkjet, so pretty much you can take and use the program to choose your own skin. I went over that in the unboxing, as you could say. So pretty much choose your own skin. Choose the back, choose the front. I have Shelby GT500 right here in the picture of the car on the back. Up here I've got my school's name. I've got the two S's and that. Back to Spartans, you know. So, pretty much very easy to set up. They've got tons of stuff that you can choose from. Normal backgrounds. Pictures, you can add pictures by clicking something in the bottom right hand corner. Go ahead and add them and you can cut them and crop them to, to fit perfectly now very easy to apply I did not find myself needing a squeegee like this I did not find myself needing one of these you can go ahead and chunk that out you won't need it for this you can just use your hands to file it out that's what's good about it it's a lot better than any of the other films that I've used before the rap soul it's like I, I can't really compare it to the rap soul the music skins it's definitely better than the music skins because it does give you a lot more protection for your money. Re as as of being reusable, I'm not sure on that. Uh, the music skins could have been reusable because I took it off and put it back on a couple times, but they weren't exactly what you would call reusable. These, I'm not sure. I can get back to you guys on that because I'm going to go ahead after this review, take it off so I can throw a case on there. What I've been using is the uh, nutshell and that naked or the um, Griffin Eco case, 
pretty much all I've been using for it right now. So I'd suggest if you had a pouch, it would work well with this. Or if you just like to rock your iPod by itself, this is good for you. It does have the lay on the table. You don't have to worry about your screen. Well, your bezel, but your screen. If I have a screen protector on here as well, so I really don't have to worry about that. And I'm going to go buy some new screen protectors and change it because I do lay it like this just directly on the table like that a lot and I probably probably shouldn't as as much as I do but I still do it because I like to protect my screen from any water that could possibly get on it I don't know why I just like to leave it down like that it doesn't give you much protection on the bottom or the top as you guys can see you can still get scratches it's no draw protection at all because it's a skin but I still feel like I should go over that the sides has good scratch protection besides right here and right here same with the back same with the front has great scratch protection besides the bottom and a little bit at the top so if you're worried about scratches this is a good case as far as scratches you shouldn't get them if you use a pouch or you shouldn't really get them if you just in and out the pocket maybe you might get a few but not too bad I haven't gotten a few from doing that just in and out the pocket hasn't been that bad because <clears throat> I did just leave this at home a couple times because I figured I'm not going to be on that long so why take it and another thing with this is this right here is it comes up a lot I don't know if it's because I didn't apply it all the way but as you guys can see it's not laid down there I can stick my nail underneath there and lift it up you guys can hear it there you go you can see it comes up and I find myself always pushing it down. I don't know if that's a flaw in the case or if I just didn't pull it tight enough when I put it on. I'm not sure, but I wanted to let you guys know that. But when you guys do put this on, as you guys can see how accurate that home button is right there. It's very accurate on the screen. So applying it, easy, accurate, um, really nice with the way they set this up. So guys, go ahead and check them out. www.iappeal.com. Link in the video description. Great product. If I had to rate it out of 10, I'd say 9. 9 or 8? Eh, 8.5. 8.5 and and out of 10 because you don't have much protection on the bottom or the top. You can't really rate it for drop protection because it's a skin. So, great product. Check them out, iappeal.com. I don't know any prices, but I will have those in the link. I will have the prices in the video description to let you guys know. They make them for the iPhone 3G and 3GS, the first generation iPhone iPod Touch, second gen, third generation, pretty much all your iPod devices, and I do believe more uh, more devices than that, like the Zune HD and stuff like that, but I'm not sure, I'm going to have to check their website, talk about that in the video. Much more things to come, a giveaway, because they did send, send me some extra skins, will be coming up in a couple of, a month or so maybe, because I don't know, the next giveaway is probably going to be, what are we at, 400, 700, 700 subscribers and it may be a mass giveaway. I don't know how big I'm going to make it, or I'll have a couple separate giveaways. Comment in this video if you want a big, one big giveaway, or a couple separate giveaways. Nobody commented the last time, and I really would like to know what you guys want in the giveaway area. Should I just make one big one and get rid of everything in one sweep, or should I just separate? Go ahead and comment in the bottom of this video. Alright guys, I'm going to go ahead and get out of here. Links in the video description. Much more to come. My mail, I don't know what's up with the mail right now. I'm supposed to have gotten like three things already. I know one thing's not supposed to be here till Wednesday. It's not supposed to be here till Wednesday because it's coming FedEx and they gave me a tracking number. I'm not going to say what it is or who it's from until I get it. But the other stuff, I don't know. I'm going to have to start contacting the companies to see when they shipped it out so I can know when I should go to my post office to check for them because that's what I had to do with the USB fever headphones that I reviewed I haven't really well I reviewed them last night you probably you guys probably wouldn't I don't know if you'd seen that already but that's what I had to do with them all right guys running on nine minutes and 30 seconds gonna go ahead and get out of here brattling on for a little too long peace guys keep with me keep commenting keep rating keep subscribing I'm gonna go ahead and get out of here peace I'm gonna say it again